in the audience. Hi guys. Um, okay, so yes, I'm gonna start by introducing this uh, amazing, fabulous photo of me and my little sister. That's right, my sister is Elle Fanning. <laughs> um, I posted, I posted this little uh, gem of a TBT on my gram once, and little John commented on it. This was literally his exact comment. Nigga, that hat. Laughing, crying emoji, laughing, crying emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji. <laughs> and that was my like greatest life um, victory. I like to brag about it whenever I can. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I am from a little town called Agora Hills, or as I like to call it, Mayonnaise Hills. <laughs> That's right, I grew up amongst the whites. <laughs> and that is... <laughs> That is where my uh, early internet story begins. Uh, and more specifically, this is the story of my first email address, which was, can I get a drum roll, please? Thank you, thank you. Hot chocolate 69 at hotmail.com. I know, I know, I know what you guys are thinking, hotmail? But growing up amongst the whites will make you do crazy things. Like, because we lived in the whitest of white towns, the neighbors would come, they would literally come knocking on our door, like wondering what we were doing, moving into their neighborhood. And they would ask really hurtful, painful questions like, what, is your dad like an athlete or something? And I couldn't even say no because he was. <laughs> the whites were right and we were stereotypes. It was terrible. But that was the time that like, I was prepubescent, my hormones were starting to come alive. I woke up one morning and I was like, oh my God, I have this magical thing called a vagina. <laughs> I want to take this motherfucker for a ride. <laughs> but it's hard to get your first kiss. Like that's a hard thing to do, but it's even harder when no one that you go to school with, no one that you live near looks like you, you know? Like all the cute blonde girls were getting asked out on dates and I was getting asked if my hair looks like this because I stuck my finger in an electric socket. Ah! kid and I did it and even though I went to private school, thanks black athlete dad, <laughs> I didn't know what a microaggression was, you know? So I decided, I realized one day that if I was gonna have, if I was gonna have my very own like do you like me circle one yes or no moment, that I was gonna have to take matters into my own hands. So I really pondered it and I was like, oh I know what the problem is. These little white boys I go to school with don't know that a fly ass black queen like myself would be interested in their little skater asses, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna have to make it painfully obvious. And at the time, the internet was all the rage, chat rooms were all the rage. So I snuck into my dad's office and I fired up his dial up modem. It only took like four hours to get online that day. It was really fast, it was great. And I created my very first username, hotchocolate69 at hotmail.com. And I was, of course, a virgin at the time, but I remember being like, as I typed it, I was like, I am a woman. This will make them notice me. <laughs> and I'll tell you guys um, what ended up happening. It didn't work. <laughs> um, and as far, as far as my virginity goes, I still haven't lost that. 